Hey everybody, in our last video we had left off with a bouncing ball that bounced off the top and the bottom and the left and the right. Just to review the code here, we'd picked a couple of random numbers to stick into a vector that kept track of the speed and direction uh, of uh, the x and the y of this ball. Uh, and remember, the direction is controlled by whether it's positive or negative, and speed is controlled by the size of that positive or negative number. And then in our forever loop, we're changing the x and the y position by the values in those vectors, in that vector. And then we've got a series of if statements to see if it's touching one of the boundaries, and then we bounce it by changing that particular vector to its negative. So that's, that's the code we wrote last time. This time, I want to add a little bit of user control to this bouncing ball. Eventually, I want to make some kind of a game out of this. And without user control, it's not going to be much of a game. So I think first, what I'd like to be able to do is to speed up and slow down this ball. I'm going to start by controlling the up and the down, so the Y stuff. Uh, and I'm going to grab this block. So it's the key pressed block. And it says space in it, but you can choose any key. And I'm going to start with the up, ar up arrow. I think when you press the up arrow, it should get faster. So let's think about how we would make this faster. I guess we'd want to make the y vector bigger. But you know, sometimes it's positive, and sometimes it's negative. And you want it a bigger negative number when it's negative, and a bigger positive number when it's positive to get make it go faster. If you just add one or two to a negative number, it's actually going to slow it down. So I think we're going to need an if statement in here. I'm going to use an if else. And let's see, I'll use a greater than. So if the vector y value is greater than 0, we want to, if it's positive, we want to make it more positive. So we're going to add to it. So we'll change that by 1. Otherwise, else, we actually want to make it more negative. So we'll change that by negative 1. All right, so let's see if that works. I'm going to press the up arrow, up arrow here. Oh, yeah, whoa. OK, <laughs> we can get this going pretty fast. And I don't have any way to slow it down yet. Let me just stop this before I get dizzy. So let's try slowing it down. Let me duplicate this block. Love the duplicate function. It lets you code really fast in Scratch. And I'm going to choose the up arrow, sorry, the down arrow for that. And now we're going to do the opposite. So if, if vector y is greater than 0, we're going to subtract some from it to slow it down. And if it's not, we're going to add some to slow it down. All right, let's, let's see what we get here. So first, I'm going to speed it up with the up arrow. There it goes a little faster. Now I'm going to slow it down. Yeah, and I can get it all the way to 0. Speed it up again, slow it down again. I wanted it to react faster to the arrow. I could, instead of changing by 1 or negative 1, I could try 2 or 3 or whatever. I kind of like this the way it is, though. I do also want to control the left and the right. And I want to do that in the same way. I think left should slow it down, left arrow, and right should speed it up. So let me duplicate this again. And we'll choose left arrow. And instead of vector y, it's going to be vector x. And we'll change vector x. Now let me think about this. If it's greater than 0 and we're pressing the left arrow, oh, we want to slow it down. So this should be the opposite. And if it's less than 0, we want to slow it down. So that should be a positive 1. OK, so that works. And let's try duplicating this whole thing again. And we'll try something for the right arrow. So this is going to speed it up. So we're going to do just the opposite here. We'll add if it's already greater than 0. We'll subtract uh, if it's not. All right, let me try the left and the right arrow. First, I'm going to do left arrow to slow it down. Oh, something's not working there. Do I need to restart it, or did I do something wrong? OK, so that was the right arrow to speed it up. Here's the left arrow to slow it down. Uh -huh. So this is a little bit unconventional um, way to control a player. And it might be an interesting challenge in a game. 
<laughs> and if I decided I don't like this and I want to control it in some other way, um, I can figure out how to do that too. But that's a, a, just an example of some way you might add a little bit of user control uh, to some of your Scratch programs in order to think about how you might make a game. We'll try some more variations of this next time. Thanks, everybody.